So am I heading over to Hawaii to check out the latest from Jollibee? Well, no, that'd be pretty cool, but at any rate, I'm gonna be checking out what I think is a Hawaiian-themed chicken sandwich over here at Jollibee, and in this case, they're calling it the Aloha Chicken Sandwich. So stay tuned because it's up next for you. As always, I'm Ian Kay, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. Well, this looks like a pretty fun and tasty situation, guys. A very, very lovely presentation of what you're about to see here right now. Feast your eyes on that Haloa chicken sandwich. It looks pretty awesome glistening in the sun. Let me break this one on down for you fully before we get right into it. All right, so here we go with the Aloha Chicken Sandwich here at Jollibee, presenting like a very nice chicken sandwich alternative when it comes to springtime or even summertime, guys. A lovely situation here. Let's pop the top of the buttery brioche bun and take a look, and you're gonna notice we have what they're calling Aloha Dressing on this one, just a fancy term for mayo, I guess. It's gonna have a little something in it. As we pan on down, you're gonna notice a nice grilled pineapple ring, a nice situation there, along with more of that Aloha Dressing, and underneath that, we have what's supposedly some crispy bacon, we have some melted cheese, and that's all on top of their hand-breaded chicken breast filet fried up to a crispy golden brown, a lovely situation. Underneath that, we've got some leaf lettuce and more of that Aloha dressing, a nice situation. And guys, like I said, very much a springtime, summertime sandwich, thanks to that pineapple action. And I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty flavorful, if a little on the sweet side. So let's not waste any more time on this one, guys. Let's see if that flavor delivers. This is the all new Aloha chicken sandwich here at Jollibee. Let's peep out this flavor. Well, this is going to be my first time trying pineapple on a chicken sandwich along with some bacon and cheese, guys. And I got to say, this is looking pretty nice. Like I said, a springtime, summertime situation because of the pineapple action. I kind of wish I was in Hawaii actually doing this review, to be honest with you. But hey, I guess I have the essence of Hawaii in the sandwich. So let's go for it, guys. Here we go. It's the Aloha Chicken Sandwich here at Jollibee. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Sweet. That's not bad. Very flavorful on this one. Yeah. Yeah, guys, this is definitely a flavorful situation. I gotta say, it's even more flavorful than the bacon and cheese chicken sandwich that I checked out, as you're probably seeing up on the screen here right now. That was very, very plain overall. This particular one is absolutely bringing the flavor. This is definitely a springtime, summertime situation. I'm getting a lot of sweetness with this one, and it's coming from that Aloha dressing, which is basically the umami mayo, I'm thinking, with a little bit of sugar mixed in. But naturally, with that pineapple ring adding even more sweetness and the juiciness of that, goes right into the chicken itself, the nice coating on it. The bacon itself is not crispy, but at the same time, a little bit more flavorful, thanks to everything else on this one. Pretty nice. And I have to say, my very first time trying pineapple with a chicken sandwich, a fried chicken sandwich, is actually a pretty lovely situation so far. So let's keep going in, guys. It's, it's not bad for what it is. Mmm. I'm digging it. I like the fact that this actually has some leaf lettuce for extra color on this one, guys, and obviously a little bit of roughage thrown in there. It definitely rounds this one out pretty nicely. And I'm not missing any pickles on this particular one because of the sweetness that I'm getting from the pineapple. I have to say that ring is a beautiful situation. The cheese I'm not really tasting at all, but the bacon is just kind of there. It's mostly the dressing on this one, and of course the pineapple ring because of how sweet it is, and then naturally the chicken itself, which is fairly juicy. So let's go for a few more bites. It's not bad. Mmm. Who would have thought? I mean, pineapple on pizza is not bad. I'm sure you guys are probably gonna have some opinions about that. But on chicken sandwiches, it works pretty nicely. And again, that Aloha dressing is really, really delivering on this one. They have a lot of it on here, guys. There's really a lot mixed into the very top of this one here, as well as the bottom. So you're getting it top to bottom, so you're guaranteed that sweetness. So very, very tasty. Let's go for a couple more bites. I'm definitely enjoying this one. Now, light coating on the chicken itself, it's not bad. Fairly juicy, crispy, the saltiness is on point. Nice. So yeah, this is a pretty unique situation over here at Jollibee's, guys. I mean, you don't really see pineapple from the other fast food chicken sandwich titans out there. This is actually a very nice alternative. And I have to say again, the sweetness, even though it's a little up there, is very, very nice on this one. And overall, it really complements the chicken pretty nicely as well. The thickness is there. This doesn't really feel like it's worth $7.99, but at the same time, you're getting more toppings on it for $7.99, naturally compared to the bacon and cheese. This seems a little bit more substantial. So out of the two, I'd probably recommend going with this one because you do get a little bit more for the expensive price point for it. So I think I'm just gonna go for one more bite. We'll wrap the review with the rating coming up next, but a nice alternative, like I said, for Jollibee. And again, pineapple on a chicken sandwich, pretty banging situation. Let's go for one more bite. Mm. 
Well, it's got some pretty flavorful toppings that you can actually taste, guys, with the exception of the cheese. But then again, that's just holding everything together. So as I go around the world with this one, as you can see, it's fairly filled out, even though the bun's a little on the small side. But the height is there, the sweetness is there. And overall, I'd recommend this one out of the two options that they have on the menu over here for chicken sandwiches, at least for the promo ones. This is still pretty flavorful for what it is. Yeah, I would definitely skip the bacon and cheese and go right to the Aloha, guys, because you're getting all the same stuff that's on the bacon and cheese with the addition of the grilled pineapple and naturally with the sweetness of that dressing. It's really a lovely situation on top of the lettuce. Definitely worth going that route considering the $7.99 price point here in Southern Cali. Overall, with everything you've seen and heard up to this point, along with my overall experience with the Aloha chicken sandwich here at Jollibee, I'm going to have to give it a pretty decent 8 out of 10. Guys, it's a very tasty chicken sandwich thanks to the sweetness that it delivers. And I have to say at $7.99, you are getting a lot more for the money considering the options that are on top of that one. The grilled pineapple goes pretty amazing with that chicken and of course the sweetness of that umami mayo or the aloha dressing that they call it. It's a lovely situation overall. I would definitely recommend it and like I said, tasty for what it is guys, most definitely. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. What did you guys think of the appearance of the Aloha chicken sandwich over here at Jollibee? And if you've given it a shot along with the other version, the bacon and cheese, which is your personal favorite out of the two? I mean, which really does it for you? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is ENK closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep the Sci Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow, and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you, and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do, and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.